heads of the United Nations, NATO, and the European Union. I express my thanks for the solidarity we have seen as we've stood up an unprecedented global effort. <clears throat> I updated our partners on the significant progress we made in the past 10 days. As of this afternoon, we've helped evacuate 70,700 people just since August the 14th, 75,900 people since the end of July. Just in the past 12 hours, another 19 U.S. military flights, 18 C-17s and one C-130 carrying approximately 6,400 evacuees and 31 coalition flights carrying 5,600 people have left Kabul just in the last 12 hours. A total of 50 more flights, 12,000 more people since I updated you this morning. These numbers are a testament to the efforts of our brave service women and men, to our diplomats on the ground in Kabul, and to our allies still standing with us. And we had a productive discussion. All right, you've been listening live right now. President Biden speaking from the White House. The president is providing new details on plans to evacuate U.S. troops from Afghanistan. The U.S. is scrambling to get tens of thousands more Americans and Afghan allies out of the country by the end of the month. CBS 4 Skylar Henry has more from the White House. President Biden says he's aiming to stick to an August 31st deadline to evacuate U.S. troops from Afghanistan. With each day of operations on the ground, we have added risk to our troops with increasing threats from ISIS-K. The announcement came shortly after the president held a virtual meeting with G7 allies who are concerned about the deteriorating situation in the region. They've got to guarantee right the way through, uh, through August the 31st and beyond, a safe passage, safe passage for those who who want to, to come out. The Pentagon says evacuations have been picking up speed, but there are still tens of thousands of Americans and Afghan allies to be withdrawn. We believe that we have that, uh, we, that we have the capability, the ability to get that done by the end of the month. White House officials tell CBS News President Biden has drawn up contingency plans in case the deadline isn't met and is relying on cooperation from the Taliban. The Taliban has already signaled that failure to meet the deadline would be a red line and has barred Afghan citizens from leaving the country. The individuals we have prioritized, those who have fought alongside us, who are eligible for special immigrant visas, our expectation is that they will be able to reach the airport. Some Republican lawmakers who received a classified briefing on the matter Tuesday say the Taliban shouldn't be dictating the timetable. We should stay until every single American is able to get out of Afghanistan. We should explain that this is what is going to happen, and anybody in our way to stop us from bringing an American out will be in danger. With the deadline just one week away, the U.S. has deployed helicopters and troops in select spots in Kabul to rescue stranded Americans and Afghan allies. Skyler Henry, CBS News, the White House. The Pentagon says about one flight is leaving out of Kabul every 45 minutes. The U.S. has also designated four different military bases in the U.S. to house evacuees once they reach American soil. And look for much more on the chaos in Afghanistan tonight on the CBS Evening News with Nora O'Donnell. That's at 6.30 after CBS 4 News at 6.